Now the men of Israel had sworn in Mizpeh, saying, There shall not any of us give his daughter unto Benjamin to wife. And the people came to the house of God, and abode there till even before God, and lifted up their voices, and wept sore, and said, O Lord God of Israel, why is this come to pass in Israel, that there should be today one tribe lacking in Israel? And it came to pass on the morrow, that the people rose early, and built there an altar, and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the children of Israel said, Who is there among all the tribes of Israel that came not up with the congregation unto the Lord? For they had made a great oath concerning him that came not up to the Lord to Mizpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the children of Israel repented them for Ben-Hamin their brother, and said, There is one tribe cut off from Israel for this there is one tribe cut off from Israel this day. How shall we do for wives for them that remain, seeing we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them for our daughters to wives? And they said, What one is there of the tribes of Israel that came not up to Mizpah to the Lord? And behold, there came none to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. For the people were numbered, and behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead there. And the congregation sent thither twelve thousand men of the valiantest. And commanded them, saying, Go and smite the inhabitants of Jebesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, with the women and with the children, with the women and the children. And this is the thing that ye shall do. Ye shall utterly destroy every male and every woman that hath lain by man. And they found among the inhabitants of Jebesh Gilead four hundred young virgins that had known no man by lying with any male, and they brought them unto the camp of Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. And the whole congregation sent some to speak to the children of Benjamin that were in the rock Rimon, and to call peaceably unto them. And Ben-Hamin came again at that time, and they gave them wives, which they had saved alive by of the women of Jebesh Gilead. And yet so they sufficed them not. And the people repented them for Ben-Hamin, because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribes of Israel. Then the elders of the congregation said, How shall we do for wives for them that remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Ben-Hamin? And they said, There must be an inheritance for them that be escaped of Ben-Hamin, that a tribe be not destroyed out of Israel. Howbeit, we may not give them wives of our daughters, for the children of Israel have sworn, saying, Cursed be he that giveth a wife to Ben-Hamin. And they said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shiloh every year. Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shiloh yearly, in a place which is on the north side of Bethel on the east side of the highway that goeth up from Bethel to Shechem, and on the south of Lebonah. Therefore they commanded the children of Ben-Hamin, saying, Go and lie in wait in the vineyards, and see, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance in dances, then come ye out of the vineyards, and catch you every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh, and go to the land of Ben-Hamin. And it shall be, when their fathers or their brethren come unto us to complain, that we will say unto them, Be favorable unto us, be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserved not to each man his wife in the war. For ye did not give unto them at this time, that ye should be guilty. And the children of Ben-Hamin did so, and took them wives according to their number, of them that danced, whom they caught. And they went and returned unto their inheritance, and repaired the cities, and dwelt in them. And the children of Israel departed thence at that time, every man to his tribe and to his family. And they went out from thence, every man to his inheritance. In those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And after him was Shamgar, the son of Anath, which slew of the Philistines six hundred men with an ox goad, and he also delivered Israel. And the children of Israel again did evil in the sight of the Lord when Ehud was dead. And the Lord sold them into the hand of Jabin king of Canaan, that reigned in Hazor, the captain of whose host was Sisera, which dwelt in Hazarsheth, Herosheth of the Gentiles. 
And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, for he had nine hundred chariots of iron, and twenty years he mightily oppressed the children of Israel.